Okay, one, two, three. I always have to fill in some noise before I start uh, so that the ad, the algorithm and the thing has to hear sound and know to adjust the levels. Anyways, uh, I'm making this video in response to uh, Nick Dutch's uh, video, What Exactly is Wicca? Uh, this is interesting because I was thinking about this uh, today and yesterday. So, I don't know, maybe we're on the same wavelength. Bizarre coincidence, you know, Jungian, uh, uh, what's it called, Jungian um, synchronicity. But at any rate, um, you know, I've been described as a contrary in person, someone who likes to, to be the devil's advocate, that kind of thing. That said, there's absolutely no way in hell I can do anything but be in total agreement with everything that was said uh, in your video. Uh, you have, uh, you know, I think a, a more uh, intellectual background and are better studied in the specifics of it, but my experience and, you know, my limited study of the area, uh, what you said is spot on. The only thing that I think that I could add is uh, I think there's different perspectives as to why things like Wicca exist. Um, and I wanted to discuss that and leave you with a question. Uh, and not just you, Nick, but anyone who watches this. Uh, the thing is... I'm, you know, a real student of what Terence McKenna espouses, and, you know, not to put too fine a point on it, but, you know, he talks about this uh, archaic revival, and for me to put it in my own words, and I'm, I'm learning that I need to start doing that, because I can't just simply go around quoting Wayne Dyer, Ken Terence McKenna, and... Um, Joseph Campbell for the rest of my life, you know, I, I'm kind of a, a gestalt of those guys, uh, but the Archaic Revival is the result of the fact that culture and society turns people into robots, or at least it tries to. And that's been done primarily at the physical level, and in the last so many decades at the mental level, with you know so many people having jobs that involve computers, so many people having to sit and use their brains to to earn their living and whatnot. So what happens is, at least as I see it, um, We get so people get so wound up and bound up and away from their origins that they are, you know, one pink slip or one 80 hour working week away from tearing their clothes off and running naked through uh, the woods. And it would probably do a lot of them, you know, a lot of us good to try that sometime. Not this time of year, but you get my meaning. The idea is that. Society has taken us so far from our natural element, um, you know, being on a plane where you can, you know, look for infinity, look to infinity. I mean, this is why the ocean is so attractive. Um, you know, how many times as human beings do we go a week without looking up at the sky and seeing the stars? All these things are were common day-to-day -day experiences, and we've gotten away from them. So what happens? Um, people start doing things to get back to their body because they have an itch they don't know how to scratch. A lot of them don't even know they have an itch. You know, those are the ones that, that, that fall into that. Now, how does this come back around to Wicca? Well, what happens is, uh, you know, and I agree, a lot of it is just, you know, fetish mentality uh, because there is a, a fantastic idea of these things. But there's also, I think, in some people, this, this urge to get back to those archaic things. A lot of people that I know and respect who have gotten involved with Wicca, who really had their act together and were really smart cookies, uh, moved on to authentic paganism or some other truer form. 
of, of experience. So the more and more people who are getting displaced who've never been taught you know what your essence as a human being is and how you act it out are acting out in ways um, that uh, that other people are instructing them uh, or are ways that they're experimenting with themselves and this is why you're going to see even more squirrely religions. Things are going to get nuttier and nuttier. Uh, you know, Wicca, in my opinion, is just the tip of the iceberg. And, you know, I realize I'm expanding the scope of what you discussed beyond Wicca you know, into this thing that Terence McKenna calls the Archaic Revival. And this brings another point up for me. Uh, there are a lot of people who get past a certain point in their life, who can see past the bullshit. And, you know, some people like you are very well studied and can articulate it very well. Uh, other people may not be able to articulate it, but maybe can act it out in a way that's more reasonable. Um, and, and there are some people that I've met who, boy, you know, they don't know a lot about philosophy or religion, but they've got it. They just, somewhere in their life, you know, and possibly a personal tragedy or whatever, there are things that happen to people where, you know, the light just descends on them and, you know, without even knowing why or having to explain it, they're just that awesome person who really is in touch. Well, do these people, particularly in this time when there are so many people going through changes and this archaic revival is happening and there are so many people who who first of all don't even know that they have an itch that isn't being scratched and those who realize it not knowing how to scratch that itch not knowing what it is or it is about um, what is the level of responsibility to those in the know this is an interesting question for me because I look at you know other great teachers throughout history and uh, I I think it was, oh, I forget the name of the man who said it, um, I think it was Robert Anton Wilson maybe, but he had talked about how throughout history when you look at the level of population, you might have had someone at the level of a, of a Buddha or Jesus or, or just a smart guy like Gandhi come along every so many hundred years, but given how many people are on the planet now, there are more of those kinds of people around who have that insight. Uh, and when I look at history, do these people have an obligation to to teach, to lead, to particularly in this time uh, of evolving chaos uh, to be a light or can they do like you know Lao Tzu who said screw it I'm going back into the wilderness you, you people are nuts because that same motivation that creates a, a need for great teachers at this time also creates a need for people who you know have a sense about them in the world and and what really matters you know to say screw it I've got to keep my own peace of mind you know maybe at some level and I this can be debated it's, it's an interesting argument but that by you know going off into a cave and you know spending most of your time meditating or getting in contact with whatever or taking you know some type of uh, hallucinogenic shamanic drink or whatever you do by removing yourself from society that you create uh, 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 you know an energy or a, uh, a field or what have you if you believe in any of that uh, that does more good than having an interaction so, you know, I'm just curious to, you know, what you think of, you know, how I've expanded your points to this archaic revival, um, the scope of it, I think, I think you made a lot of important points, but I think that all the points that you made, if you expand on a larger scale, can give us a little more insight to what's going on in the world right now, and I, I do believe the year 2012, you know, for myself, I believe that's significant, um, but that's another that's another video uh, and once again people who, who who see through the squirrely religions who see through the bullshit 
um, what is their responsibility, if any, you know, to the insanity that, that we have and that is just going to continue to get worse? Uh, great video, Nick. Keep putting them out. Peace. <laughs>